Hello and welcome to Be The Magician. My name is Brandon and welcome to my channel. I usually say this, but if you are new to the channel, welcome aboard. And I'm very glad you subscribed. So this trick I'm about to show you is another Ed Marlowe's effect. I'm obsessed with Ed Marlowe, but if you want something different, let me know and we can change it up. But let me show you what this trick looks like. Okay, so this is what the trick looks like. And if you are wanting to know, uh, I am using the red Tally Ho uh, playing cards. They feel amazing. They really, really do. I love the red Tally Ho's. So what's going to happen is you're going to ask your spectators to cut the cards into four packets, which they are going to. And we're going to remove, well, not remove, up jog the top cards of each one like so into my hand and you can see there's actually one two three four cards no cards more no five cards just four cards and over here we have the ten of spades over here we have the ten of hearts over here we have the ten of clubs and over here we have the ten of diamonds crazy so yes that is it it's basically just cut in to four of a kind the spectator cuts uh, obviously four packets and they've done this they've done that themselves and it makes them look like they are the magician so yes that is it i know it's a very quick trick but i'm going to show you exactly how this works so it's time for the tutorial so there is a little setup you need four of a kind and that needs to be on top of the pack and you are ready to go so if you know any false shuffles and false cuts, please execute them. Make it look like the cards are really mixed up and shuffled. And you can actually spread the cards because they look mixed. It's not going to look here. But a little tip, if you are going to do that, if you play hands like this, say, look, the cards are mixed, you're covering the 10. So it looks like the cards are generally, which they are generally mixed, but you won't see the 10s. But they're not going to be looking for that. So the cards are mixed up, but really secretly you've kept your four tens at the top. So the only thing you have to watch out for is how they cut the cards. Because if you're doing this to a drunk person, you may get someone doing something like this. Like you'll cut the card. Oh no, I need, and they need to put some more on top. Then they've buggered your trick up. So make sure you explain to them. So try and cut the card. It, it depends on the person you've got. If you've got a really nice person, they will listen to you. But if you've got a awkward person, then <laughs> good luck. But basically what's going to happen is uh, you need to keep your eye. I'm going to keep it face up for you. Keep your eye on the 10 packet. So they're going to cut, they're going to cut, they're going to cut, and going to cut. Usually it's going to be on your right hand side. But if it's not, it's on the left. Just do the complete opposite one I'm about to show you. But usually when you do this, the 10 packet is here. So now you're going to pick up the 10 packet. This could be the aces or the kings, completely up to you. And you're going to up jog the card. And what I mean, man, that's just basically up jog it and clamp it down with your thumb. Then you're going to take the second card from the second packet and place it on top because this is the 10. Okay, so obviously you've come from here, you've picked the packet up, the 10 packet. You're going to up jog the first 10. The second card is coming from the obviously second packet. That's going to go on top. The third card, hopefully you can see this, is going to go on top of that. And the fourth card is going to go on top of that. So you've got an indifferent card, indifferent card, indifferent card, and then the ten. Now you need to reverse count it. And the way I say this, I'm going to show you that these only four cards. You're just going to reverse count the cards. So now the 10 is on top. So when these cards go back onto the packet, you're going to keep a break above all of these cards. So I'm going to keep a break above all of them. Then you're just going to flip over, you're not, not the break, you're not lifting up at the break. You've got a break below all of them, but you're just going to turn the top card over. And then you're going to pick up at the break and drop this packet onto the first packet. So you're here, and you're going to drop it all on. And then you're going to do the exact same thing, just turn the second card over, which is a single. You're going to grab it like you grabbed the first card, place it down, third card, 
and the fourth card. So it looks like you've cut to the four tens. It's the first card, which is the uh, packet of four cards, what you're ditching on the first packet. So we'll do that one more time very quickly because it is a very quick trick. So they have uh, cut the cards into four uh, packets. Your tens are over here. You're gonna upjog the first 10, take the second card, place it next to the first card. Same with the third card, that's gonna go right on top. And the last card is gonna go right here. Then you're gonna reverse the cards. You're gonna drop all these cards onto this packet, but keep a finger break above everything. Okay, then you're gonna turn the top card over, keeping that pinky break still above the four cards. Then you're gonna chuck these, I'm gonna do it on this packet actually to make it easier for you to see. I'm gonna chuck, or not chuck, I'm gonna place all these cards, okay, onto this packet. But it's gonna look like to the spectator that like you're placing the 10 down. But really, you're ditching the cards below it. So you're gonna place a 10 down, which you are ditching the cards underneath it. Turn this card over the exact same way you turn this card over. It's just, it's just a single card. And then you're gonna grab it, place it onto the second packet, third, and then the last card. So it just looks like you cut to the four tens. Yes, I know I'm just doing one video of this, but you can incorporate this into absolutely anything. So let's say you need to, you're finding the four eights and the four tens. You need two different ways of finding the cards. So you could just, for example, do this. So you've got one, I'm not saying you can do a top shot, but say I found one 10, if I riffle here, you get the four 10s. That's the way you do it. And then the spectator cuts and then they find four aces, for example. So the different applications you can use it for, but that is a tutorial of, should we call it the find the partners or cutting to the four aces or cutting to the four tens, but that's another version of Ed Marlowe's. Okay, so that is the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed the video. It's not the hardest trick of them all, but it might need a little bit of practice obviously getting that break and dealing the card down, so it all looks the same. But it's a great little effect. And like I said in the tutorial, you can incorporate this with anything. If you're gonna find the four jacks, they can find the four kings or vice versa. It is a very, very good and clever trick. But that is Ed Marlowe for you. So if you are still wanting to see more of Ed Marlowe's material, please let me know. Or if you wanna change it up, we can look at somebody else. So just write down in the comment section what you want and we can, or we, I, can get it sorted for you. But like I usually say, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.